Hello and welcome everybody, I am Brandon. And we got a buttload of Nintendo news to talk about today. So early this morning, we got some leaked screenshots over on Twitter of what appears to be a Game Boy and Game Boy Advance emulator running on the Nintendo Switch. That's right, it sounds like we might be getting Game Boy games coming to the Nintendo Switch online platform here really soon now. We got all that news and more on another episode of Game Corner. Thanks for watching everybody, if you like what I do, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and I'll stop wasting your time. So like I said early this morning over on Twitter, a user at Trash Bandicoot posted leaked screenshots of what appears to be a Game Boy and Game Boy Advance emulator running over on the Nintendo Switch. As you can see, there are tons of ROMs in here. Everything from Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire to Tactics Ogre the Night of Lotus, Golden Sun, Mario Bros and the most exciting in my opinion, the Pokemon trading app. Before we jump into this too hard, I do wanna say, of course we're working with leaks today, so take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. While this information has been confirmed to be true, it is always possible that this is still in the works or it's just something that they've been working on in the back end and don't actually intend on releasing. Anyway, like I said, one of the most exciting things in this list, other than Golden Sun, which is a absolutely fantastic RPG you should play, is what appears to be this Pokemon trading app and if i were to take a wild guess i would think that maybe this is some sort of trading application that allows you to play some of the old game boy and game boy advanced pokemon games and then eventually trade them over to pokemon home to possibly use in pokemon sword and shield or other games that come out in the future that would be pretty kick-ass i'm not gonna lie seeing as how it is an absolute disaster to try and pull your pokemon over especially from the ds or even older generations over into your new games but that's really just a tip of the iceberg here we got a lot to go through. So I imagine some of you are already thinking, this sounds like some utter bullshit. And to be fair, when I first started reading this, I was in the same boat as you. But we have some pretty damning evidence that this is pretty legit. As you can see, at Trash Bandicoot actually ended up posting screenshots of these games running in the emulator. He apparently got it running on his computer and snapped some screenshots of Super Mario World and some other games. And in one of the screenshots here, you can even see that F-Zero has been set up to have various key bindings for emulation features like save and load state. The hype train does not stop there though. There was actually two videos posted of the emulators running on Switch thanks to Rat Gore Hunter. Unfortunately, by the time I got to it, one of the videos had been deleted but I was able to get one of them before it went away. So as you can see from the video there, he actually was able to get it running on the Switch itself and you can kind of see him transfer back between the menu and the application to show you that it's a real app running on the Switch. It even has a little Game Boy icon and everything. So at this point you're probably wondering, how the hell did this guy get a Game Boy emulator running on his Switch? This has to be tampered with. So this story actually comes over from the most infamous discussion board on the internet, 4chan, where some anonymous user posted four files, two of them being the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance emulator that Nintendo supposedly has developed, and then a couple other just little update files. It obviously wasn't long till people started to dig into this, seeing what it was and if it worked, and obviously from the looks of it, it's running really great on the Switch and on PCs. So this is what we do know about the emulator. We know that the Game Boy Advance one is called Sloop, and we know that the Game Boy one is called Hayoko. Sloop has this fancy little boat icon, and then obviously the Game Boy one has that little Game Boy icon like we saw earlier. And after a little bit of digging, they were able to find that these apps were developed by Nerd, or Nintendo Europe Research and Development. And as we can see, they're both very functional, other than some minor bugs that Trash Bandicoot mentions. He goes on to say that these weren't actually leaked from a Nintendo server, they were actually data mined from a Nintendo Switch console which means a lot of this stuff is probably already installed on the back end of the console, just sort of waiting to be released. So they're quite literally hiding this application in plain sight. Either way, this is a pretty huge score for 4chan, not gonna lie. Nintendo's usually pretty tight-lipped about what they want people to know, and if you're able to data mine this, that is either a really big mess up on Nintendo's end, or it was never intended to be released. Which is also a very big possibility. We need to keep in mind that Nintendo is constantly doing research and development on various features and things that they can add to the Nintendo Switch or upcoming consoles. So it's very possible they've just had this emulator sitting around for quite some time now and just are kind of waiting to find the right time to announce it. Or we could all keep waiting for quite some time to never see the see the light of day. In my opinion though, I would say this is pretty damning evidence that we're going to see a Game Boy and Game Boy Advance emulator come to the Nintendo Switch Online service here probably pretty soon. This has already been a huge speculation 
speculation in the gaming sphere for quite some time now. A lot of people are even saying that they were going to add Game Boy and Game Boy Advance before N64. Obviously, that never happened, so I think the next logical step would be Game Boy. Nintendo seems like they're pretty interested in continuing to add to their Nintendo Switch Online catalog, and this would obviously just add more value to that service. I'm definitely curious if this ends up coming out, if we'll see a price hike, sort of like they did with the expansion pack when they added Genesis and N64. I do have a feeling there'll be some sort of caveat there, probably some sort of price point that you're going to have to hit to get those extra games. But as of right now, it's all up in the air. I constantly talk about game preservation on this channel and obviously this doesn't fix the issue it's still a subscription service it's not like you own these games but I do think it goes a long way to showing that they actually care about their customers to a certain extent because they're at least listening to us when we say we want to play your old video games. Especially adding games like Golden Sun or previous Pokemon games and allowing you to transfer those over into Pokemon Home would really go a long way to helping get these older games into younger fans' hands. Like I said, I do think this is pretty set in stone at this time, but of course take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. At this rate, I would say it's a matter of time till we see this months away maybe. On that note though, what do you guys feel about this? Do you think these leaks are true? Do you think they're fake? Are you excited? if this was to come to the Switch? And what would be some Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games that you'd actually like to see come to the Switch if this was to come out? Anyway, that's about all the Nintendo news I got for you guys today. We were talking about all these leaks coming out about the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance emulators possibly coming to the Switch here very soon. I'm Brandon. This was Game Corner. Thanks for watching, and have a kick-ass week.